Hey everyone, Jennifer Williams here. Welcome back to part five of our teaching series. Um, today we are going to be talking about online classes and Facebook classes and those kind of things, right? So I have avoided these like the plague because my technical skills are lacking. Let's just put it that way. Um, but I have seen so much success with these classes from my upline as well as my downline members. And someday soon, I promise I will jump in and teach an online class. Um, this is out of my box doing a video right now. So um, but this is a great way to teach a class and capture your audience that's far away from you, right? So I have members all over the United States, so I'm doing these videos so they can see them. And um, I, I don't have, without hopping on a plane and spending a lot of money, I'm not able to go and visit those members all the time. And so doing an online class is a great way to connect with friends that live across the country or downline members that don't live near you. So this is a really good um, perk of being in our society with all the internet and stuff going on. Um, people get to stay home. So we talked about how you're going to, you're always going to have people in your downline that would rather avoid a class and a crowd and stay home in their pajamas. And so this is a great way to cater to that crowd. I have one friend like that. She's probably watching this laughing. She would so much rather stay home and be in her pajamas and be comfortable than ever leave the house and go to a class. And so that's her personality. That is great. So this is a way to reach out to those, um, to those people. Additionally, if you're doing Facebook classes, usually those work by making a post and then waiting a few minutes and making another post. The cool thing about this is um, it's available online for a while. And so they have the ability to take the time to go back and read it um, when they have the time. The downside, in my opinion, to online classes is that there's no real personal interaction. You know, talking to someone over a microphone on a computer is not the same as a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, posting things on Facebook and answering questions, again, it's not personal. So some people aren't going to like that, okay? Um, I find for myself that if there's a class um, online, oftentimes life is happening around me and I end up half-heartedly watching what's going on online while I'm changing a diaper and doing dishes and putting kids to bed or feeding kids or whatever it may be. And so I don't get the full benefit of an online class because rarely am I able to stop life and sit down and focus if I'm at home. So for myself, being the social person that I am, I'd much rather leave the house, have a break, go to a class and learn something where I'm able to give my full undivided attention. So that, those are really the only negatives to the online classes, and I still think they are so worth your time to do. So I put on my uh, notes that one of the uh, cons to teaching an online class is that you have to be technical, but a little bit tech savvy, but that only applies if you're me and you're not tech savvy at all. And so most of you aren't going to have issues with that. And if you do, more than likely one of your upline, not me, but one of your other upline can help you with things like that and um, and how to go about that and what programs to use and those kind of things. So um, I hope this has been helpful and ask questions if you have them. We would love to hear them.